CEO Raw Latham from Creating the Difference got the new Raptor Fury Ball here from Motive. It uh, features the Affliction V2 core, which is the RG, it has an RG of 2.48 and the differential of 0 0.055. It has the Leverage XFS solid cover stock and it's with a 2000 grit finish on it. So we're going to throw it here for you guys and see how it rolls. First thoughts. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so definitely too far to the right. Got to move left. Bowling on a standard house shot. Also using the standard layout. 60 by 4.5 by 40. And you can see we got a lot of flare there. A lot of flare on the ball. 055. The limit is actually 60. Can't go any higher than 60. So 55 is pretty high. I kind of had a, I thought this ball would hook a lot. That's why I started so far right. But obviously that was a mistake. So we will change that. Mm. Definitely a traction characteristic. So that means we gotta go further left. Like that definitely was kind of where I wanted to play with it, but there's too much volume out there for that. So we'll just move left. There you go. So yeah, traction type reaction. Earlier, smoother, more rolly, immediately tells you that you've got you've to have some oil out there and you want this ball to really kind of just roll off of it. And people say, well, why would you want that type of reaction? Pressure patterns, sport patterns, patterns where you um, don't need to hook the whole lane. But it'll be controllable. It'll be controllable, it'll be readable, it'll be repeatable. All of those things are really good when you are trying to control the break point. Now, the downside of that is, is as the lanes begin to break down, you have to move right, in my case move right, in your case move left, but as I have to begin to move in, that shape will become less and less usable and I'll start pinging corner pins just because it doesn't create that strong angle that you need. But you can play out here, fairly straighter with it. You can strike for a good part of the day. Got that one good. So that's a good example right there. I actually caught that pretty good. And instead of it being like a split, I just six pipe. So that's a good benefit of that type of bowling ball. Uh, you're not going to get that super over sideways reaction and then, you know, you, you leave something stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to be in the right part of the lane with the ball. I mean, this is, is going to be a good piece for, like I said, when you really need to out the gate, really need to control what's going on with the reaction. All that differential also helps to make the ball want to be a little more traction to hook up more in the earlier part of the lane and be a little smoother. Watch this. Come on. So, kind of thought that was coming back. But, same thing. It's smoother, man. This is not that ball that's going to boomerang, right? Caught it pretty good. 3.9 is makeable, so I didn't like 3.7.9, but this is that ball that you grab when you want to control the lane and stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble.
got a good shape to it. Affliction V2 core, low RG, high differential, 2000 grit surface, all those things say, you know, traction. If you're unfamiliar with that term, uh, go type in Ronald Hicklin four types of ball motion, and we can show you exactly what the four types of ball motion are, and you can see exactly what the traction shape looks like. Nonetheless, I mean, it's definitely got some shape to it that's usable. You know, that's definitely a usable shape. You know what? I, I think what I want to do for like a comparison, right? I will actually grab my um, another ball, if you can see, as a comparison. So I've actually got a nuclear forge, and. I'll play in the same part of lane with the nuclear forge as I did with the, the new ball. And just do a little quick comparison. That's good. Bingo. Oh, you missed it. So you can see that two different shapes, right? Like that shape definitely is longer, more responsive. Whereas the other shape um, from the Raptor Fury is more earlier. And uh, that's a good way to look at those two. Those are two different shapes. The nuclear is the angular of the two. And the Raptor Fury is the more traction of the two. I'm actually going to move one right. I think create a little more angle with this ball. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Dance and almost connected. So the one right, same kind of hit, but you can see it's definitely got more shape, and that shape is down lane. So let's do it one more time. This ball is the angular of the two. I think it's important for people to understand that too, though, right? Two different shapes. So I'll make one more. Yeah, so you can see it's just down lane more than more pop down lane. So what I would probably do, honestly, right? I would start with the Raptor Fury and then once I get to the spot that the Raptor Fury will no longer come around the corner, I would switch to the Nuclear Forge because it will come around the corner. Back with the Raptor Fury, go back to left. Good combination. Good combination between the two. You can strike with this one. Ain't no question, you can strike with it. So it's not flashy, right? This is not one of those balls that's flashy. This is a ball that gets it done. Like this is the ball that like, you're like, yeah, I'm not bringing it with me to a tournament or a league, but then because you didn't, you didn't make the cut either. Keeps you out of trouble. And it's consistent. Caught that one. Yeah. Still good, man. I'm gonna grab my primal shock real quick. I'm gonna throw it. Just wanna see how it 
compares right there as well. These are all drilled the same. Also in the same spot. So once again, you know, a different shape. Um, I would move right with the primal now and then really try to get around it more. But based on what I'm seeing here, like the ball you would want to use really in this situation is the Raptor Fury. I'm going to move one more right. Good. She's good. Does the right thing. Not flashy, but does the right thing. Let me grab that primal again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over five, six boards to the right with the primal. I'm going to get it to about the same break point. I caught that one. Yeah, caught it, got it further left. But here's the problem with that, right? So like throwing that ball, what's gonna end up happening? Like it struck, but you're just not gonna have the room for error. And that's the trap that a lot of people fall into. They're like, oh man, look, well that back ended really well, yada, yada, yada. But this ball's gonna be 220 or 210 because you split once. The other ball's gonna be 230, 240 because there's no split and you still are able to carry. All right, one more with this. So I'm gonna do one more shot with this ball right here. And now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go grab the, uh, the lustrous black bottle and we're gonna, Put a little black bottle on this ball. Right here is the black bottle. We're going to put it on this pad right here like so. I'm just going to wipe it on the ball by hand. All right. You gotta make sure the ball's dry, so I'm gonna make sure the ball's dry. All right, so let's throw the, uh, let's throw the black bottle in the same spot. CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. Talk to you soon.